sucker for anything adventure. Like, I feel like Indiana Jones right now. <laughs> Good day, everyone, and welcome to Adventures with Parker. Today, we are going to start a brand new road trip series. Brand new. Oh my gosh, I filmed these last year in August, but we're getting through them now, so it's all good. But this is going to be my Midwest theme park series featuring all of the cool places that I got to visit with my best friend, Scott. This is going to include Kentucky Kingdom, Holiday World, Six Flags Great America, but of course, in today's episode, we're going to be starting with everyone's favorite Ohio theme park, Kings Island. Now, this is a theme park that both of us have visited before, actually, almost a year to the day of this visit was the first time that we met up in person and got to explore Kings Island. And there's two vlogs on the channel from that visit that I highly recommend checking out, especially if you want some of my initial reactions to all of the roller coasters. But in today's episode, there's going to be a lot of cool things going on because of course we're going to visit all of our favorite rides and attractions like Orion and the Beast and Mystic Timbers. But we're also going to get a chance to see the Phantom Theater Encore show, which as you're going to find out has become a huge favorite of ours. And we're going to check out the brand new, well, it was brand new last year when we visited, Adventure Port, the new area of Kings Island, which features rides like Adventure Express, Soul Spin, and Cargo Loco. But yeah, we had so much fun on this visit. Uh, we spent two days here, well, two and a half. We uh, left by noon of the second day, as you're going to come to find out. But we're just gonna hop right into today's episode. I'm so excited to finally be able to share this. So, without any further ado, let the Kings Island adventures begin. Just waiting in line for the beach right now and I love how all throughout the queue you get these little fun facts about the ride, little stats, little pieces of history. It's really a great way to learn about the ride and just how significant it is. Alright, we just got off of the iconic roller coaster known as the Beast. This is a ride that I've been really wanting to get back on ever since my last visit. I only did it once last time and I remember liking it, but it just wasn't really a standout for me. So like, I was really itching to, you know, to try it again after taking some time away from it. And it is so good. It is such a fun ride. I love how it like makes use of the terrain. That final helix at the end is incredible. And I'm excited to ride it again later today for night rides. Scott, what did you think? I love the so much. That finale can't be for me. That helix, it just plants me to see and I just, it, it, nothing's better than it for me. I, it does, nothing beats it. It was very interesting riding it after just coming off of the boss at Six Flags St. Louis a few weeks ago. I do think I prefer the boss more just because it's a little more intense, but still, the beast is just so iconic and so fun. Okay, so one ride I didn't get to last time was Backlot Stunt Coaster. It was closed, so uh, it's one of the very few missing credits I have here at Kings Island, so we're gonna get that done right away. Now, of course, I've done Backlot Stunt Coaster at my home park, Canada's Wonderland, as well as the one at Kings Dominion, but I hear this one still uses the effects and I can hear helicopters, so I'm already so excited. There's fire! Oh my god, okay, let's go. All right, 
we just did Glass Sun Coaster. So much fun. I mean, the effects for Leisure make all the difference. I I knew the fire was coming and it still shocked me. We did scream. That was really funny. So I just sprayed Rock Tower, which is uh, one that I've been eyeing up for a while because it starts out uh, by rotating up the tower. So you get a nice 360 degree panorama of the park as you're going up. Um, but I, I actually thought it you know, kept rotating as you went up, but it only does it about, you know, you do one full rotation and that kind of brings you to about halfway up the tower then you're pulled straight up. So I wasn't really expecting that to be honest, but it's so tall. It's like. <laughs> Uh, it's over 300 feet for sure, and it is a long way down, but it was so fun. <laughs> Yeah, okay. The time has come. 
gaze in a parade of wonder as I, along with your favorite performers, now risen from the dead, welcome you to the theater. So we saw the Phantom Theater Encore show and it was so freaking good. 
that was one of the best theme park shows I've ever seen. Like, in my life. honestly, yeah. I truly felt like I was on the ride. Like, they did skits from the ride. Mm -hmm. At the end, it was just really cool. When we walked out the section, we walked through the boiler room to get out of the theater. Yeah. It was so cool. <laughs> like, from a theme park nerd standpoint, it's amazing. From a theater nerd standpoint, like, it was amazing. Like, everything was so well done. Uh, they, they hit, like, all of the typical, like, musical theater tropes as well. Plus, they made a lot of jokes about the ride closing, which were very funny. And it just had yeah. everything. Singing, <laughs> dancing, tap numbers, acrobatics, everything. It was amazing. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think I can give this show more praise. Like, if you have a chance to see it, do, do come. I'm so glad we got the chance to see it because we didn't get to last year. So, I'm glad we finally got this redemption. This encore, if you will. <laughs> Okay, so one of the big highlights that we were looking forward to today was checking out the all new Adventure Port area. And we just rounded this corner and look at this cute little harbor. Like we got some boats in the lagoon, got some bright colors. Oh my goodness. I, I'm so ready to check this out. Okay, I have been such a huge fan of this trend that Cedar Fair has been doing lately with theming old areas of their parks and just sprucing them up and adding in like new rides, new theming. And this area is looking pretty good. I mean, it reminds me a lot of uh, Jungle X over at King's Dominion, which I absolutely love. But I mean, obviously they're kind of leaning more into, I guess like this central South American flavor. We, we're like five steps into the land and I'm already blown away. Okay, the first thing we're checking out is the new Cargo Loco ride, which is essentially a teacups attraction, but all the barrels are like themed. They're like different dry goods. We've got coffee beans, tequila, fish oil. Oh my goodness, this is great. I love this. Soul Spin was pretty fun. I, I actually kind of like that. It was uh, very similar to like if you combined a paratrooper with a, an, an Enterprise. That's pretty much what you get. I like them. I think they're fun. They kind of make my feet a little bit because of the horses. I was going to say, that's the one thing. Like all the blood was rushing to my legs and my thighs like felt like they were a thousand pounds. Other so. than that, it's still a fun ride. And as a plus side person, you can also ride. So it works for me. Hopefully it works for you. It's super fun. Of course, the highlight of this area is the Adventure Express, which has been at the park for a while now, but they did go in and renovate things and update things, so I'm excited to see what's different and what's changed. I'm so excited. I have no idea. I've been waiting for this for so long. Yeah. I'm such an Adventure Express stand. Oh, I think same. It's the best night ride in the park. Oh. I can't wait to see the theming, and I'm just a sucker for anything adventure. I feel like Indiana Jones right now. <laughs> And I mean, this ride was pretty well themed to begin with, but the fact that they went in and added more is just crazy to me. It's so exciting for this. That was so fun! I am obsessed. It's like a jungle cruise turned into a roller coaster. There was oh my so gosh, many, yes! There were so many new theming elements. Like, there were, there were I don't know if I spoil it, but there were oxidative animals. Yeah, everything's working. All the stuff is going on. Um, and they fixed the, the temple ward at the end. Oh, oh my, my gosh, god, it was yeah! So good. I think it has now become my favorite track. Ooh, yes, okay. So, yeah, it's definitely up there for me as well. Theme music, theme cue, everything. It's and like all the little posters and little easter eggs that you find in the queue was amazing. But there's threads on my bag that are touching me and making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so good though. It was so fast or even you know, screaming elements that you couldn't see right at first. So you, mm. you ride two or three times, you're gonna see everything. But it was so good. 
Like I am so happy they did this. We definitely gotta come back before the end of the day to do it again because Absolutely. like you said, like this I feel like this is a ride that's gonna be very rewritable and you're gonna find things each time that you didn't see before. It was so hard to try like the yeah, like, like, it's there, it's there, no, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, yeah. you couldn't see everything, it was so fun. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, no trip to King's Island is complete without a ride on the racer, and the last time, I got the blue side, but the red side wasn't open, so of course this is it. I have to get my missing credit here. So I'm riding red, Scott's over there riding blue, and little does he know, he's about to lose, and uh, red team is gonna win. Uh, I'm calling it right now. Alrighty, so I got my red racer credit. This ride is so fun. I mean, I'm always a fan of the classic wooden coasters. Unfortunately, red side did not win. Uh, I gotta give that victory to Scott, but I guess uh, that's what I get for trash mouthing him before. It's okay, I let him win. Alrighty, heading into one of the most interesting parts of the park. Area 72, home of Flight of Fear and Orion, and also this weird van. decided to grab dinner over at Enrique's which is the new restaurant that opened up here with Adventure Port and it has a wonderful looking Mexican menu. I ended up getting the steak bowl and I mean you can choose your toppings, you can choose salsas, your veggies, your cheese and whatnot. But uh yeah I mean this is amazing. I am so excited to dig into this. And Scott over here. <laughs> I got the chicken bowl. Um, I loaded up with a ton of veggies and cheese. I got some limes on the side orange drink, put on my water bottle, and I'm ready This shirt looks amazing. I love how it pays tribute to Adventure Port and it has like that old, like, you know, temple style design. That is a very loud shirt. Like, I'm kind of into it, but I would never wear it myself if that makes sense. It's here. Oh my gosh. The apparently for a Ryan mug, even though it looks like Space Mountain. <laughs> All the Orion merch here, mugs, water bottles, right down to Christmas ornaments. Well, looks like we got the same kind of style shirt for Banshee here. Very loud, very colorful. Again, not sure if I would wear it, but it kind of looks cool. I'm sure someone out there can pull it off. Okay, gotta love the Phantom Theater shirt. <laughs> We're big fans. Kings Island, if you're watching this, please bring the ride back. It's only $30. Oh, it's not bad at all. That's Regular <laughs> of course, I always need to grow my magnet collection when I visit a park and I really like this one with all the coaster names and the park skyline. I really like choosing magnets that kind of showcase as much of the park as possible while still looking, you know, sleek and nice and organized. Oh man, I would totally get this Phantom Theater pin set. It looks so cool, except it's 40 bucks and that's 40 bucks American. So that's uh, more like 50 or 60 bucks for me. So I think I'm gonna pass, but ooh, I love the pin backings here. They kind of look like the little Eiffel Towers. The 
dark as we go, right? But here's a dance you guys might know. Does anyone know the Wednesday Adams dance? You do? I don't know it. I've done this whole summer. Night has fallen here at Kings Island, and once again, we are heading towards the beast to get a legendary night ride. And that is going to bring us to the end of day one. It was such a full and awesome day. And I mean, even though it was a repeat visit for both of us, we both got to have a lot of really interesting new experiences. So it was a very satisfying visit overall, but that's not where this video ends. So let's keep it going to day number two. The next day.
it wouldn't be a trip to Kings Island or Cincinnati without getting some Skyline chili. And this time I got myself some ponies, which are basically chili cheese dogs, and uh, some fries, crackers. Yeah, very excited to have this. I, I loved it last year, so yeah, we knew we had to come back. I got the same, and I'm excited. I always go for a pony. I like to dress it up, crackers, hot sauce, everything, put it all on there. All right, and that is going to do it for Scott and I's visit to Kings Island. We ended up leaving the park around noon because we have another park to squeeze in. After that, we drove all the way over to Lowville, Kentucky because in our next episode, we're going to be visiting Kentucky Kingdom. But yeah, I'm so glad that we got to squeeze in a bit of that time in the morning as well. I mean, we really needed it. Kings Island is just such an awesome park. There's so many cool things to explore and so many things to do that you really do need two days to experience it properly, especially if it's your first time visiting. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but again, if you haven't seen our vlog from Kings Island from last year, I recommend going to check out those two videos as well if you're looking for a little more of an in-depth review of the park. But yeah, I have no complaints from this visit. And I mean, hanging out with Scott is always fun. It's never a bad time hanging out with Scott. He is just amazing. And we are basically the Gabble sisters from the Aristo Cats whenever we're in the same room together. Oh my gosh, it's just awesome. Um, but yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more adventures from theme parks, attractions, and beyond, including more installments of the Midwest Coaster Road Trip, you might want to consider becoming a subscriber. You can also find me on social media. I'm at ADB Parker on Instagram, threads, and Twitter, and at Adventures with Parker on TikTok and Facebook. So check me out there if you want to continue the conversation, see cool photos, and keep up to date on everything I'm doing. Finally, big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for all of the support that you give me. I really couldn't do what I do here on the channel without your support, so thank you so much. And uh, for those of you who aren't Patreon supporters yet, if you want to support this channel for as little as a tune a month, head on over to patreon.com slash adbparker to learn more. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, the adventures are calling. Bye! I can't believe that I... I don't know what I can't believe. There's fire!